Welcome everybody, my name is James and I've been reselling on eBay for over 20 years. I sell over 2,000 items a month. So during this video, make sure you comment below on your favorite item sold. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that jive and let's get to pulling some orders. Well, happy Turkey Day to all you fine folks. From the puppies and me. <laughs> Holidays don't stop no show, do they, kitties? All right, let's get to pulling. I did not pull last night, so today is Thanksgiving Day. And we got about 47 orders as of 9 a.m. to knock out. We're going to start with this Bud Hat, 1995 Budweiser Official. Hat sold for $9. All right now. All right. Jennifer Sheehan, Beautiful Dreamers. CD sold for $20. All right, we got Webb Pierce, Sands of Gold Vinyl, sold for $4.30. Clearly one I did not have transferred over to my new pricing yet, but that's all right. All right, we got a Twisted Heart. Women's like velour ish jacket sold for eight dollars. We got the choir kisses and killers cassette sold for six dollars. All right, we got schnooks, it's a local grocery store, sold for ten dollars. <laughs> we got glow wear, it's like a safety hat. Sold for eight dollars. Sammy Hagar standing Hampton cassette sold for seven dollars. Are you ready for a cassette lot? Yeah. All right, we got two cassettes that sold separately. Sadly, they had to pay separate. Uh, so we got to combine them. We've got two cassettes for $11. So there's number one. And number two. Two classical cassettes, $11, going to Lake Forest, Illinois. All right, we got a Chuck E. Cheese hat, sold for $10. We got the Disney Beauty and the Beast hat. I believe this came from... Um, Gulf Shores Thrift Trip. So you'll probably see that in an upcoming video. It's going to Sweden. Sold for. Let me look. $9. Here's something you have not heard. Do you remember Circuit City? <laughs> yeah. I uh, cleared one of those out too. <laughs> way back when and I still got CDs laying around from Circuit City so this Tony Rich project sold for $5.50 going to Germany Spasm CD sold for a quick $5 alright we got the St. Louis Rams Pro Player Cool Windbreaker sold for $28 all right, we got a youth cardinal hat. Sold for ten dollars. All right, we got another lot of twenty hats. Sold for seventeen dollars to Paul. What's up, Paul? Hey, uh, throw your link to my your store down below if you wish, and then I'll put it in the description. Help you out, send some traffic your way, hopefully. So thanks for the order again, and they're on their way. All right, and Orla, Orla, Fallon, Celtic Christmas, CD sold for $10. This CD literally only sells around Christmas time. I, this was a Borders buyout when I cleared out of Borders, and I probably got a couple hundred of these laying around in storage and such, because they literally, they only sell in the fourth quarter. So... I've never seen that with any other item. I mean, Christmas stuff sells all year long, but this CD literally only sells in the fourth quarter. And how long ago was Borders? 
Good Lord. Seven, eight years ago? Pretty cool. All right, we're looking for one of my favorite albums. Here we are. Cinderella, still climbing. Came out in like 94, yep, 94. Great album, uh, sold for $10. Bam, got a question for you. Are you watching the Honey Hole Sessions? If you are, you will know that this item come foot volume three video paid six dollars for it it sold for 46 dollars also if you watched volume four you know i only spent about 40 bucks this item pays for everything that was in the volume four video that's why it's called the honey hole sessions all right it's going to san antonio texas Yours are looking a little empty, James. You're slack and you need to fill these drawers up. Look at these empty drawers. Look at my slacking butt. All right, this CD, Bob Schneider. So far, quick $5. Most of my quick $5 now, what they are, is my lowest price point, $5.50. And they use the extra 10% coupon off at checkout that I provide. So... Are you ready yeah, for a CD lot? All right, somebody took advantage of my 550 items because if you buy three or more, you get 50% off. So we got six CDs that sold for 1650. Good deal for the buyer. Second CD is CMC Presents in Concert. CMC was a little record label in the late 90s early 2000s that was signing a lot of the 80s style bands cd3 steve harvey live promo all right the final three college credit singer songwriter 101 c big fat christmas box 48 songs Rudolph the Red Nose Right Deer and A Caring Christmas. Six clearance CDs for $16.50. Alright, you want a couple of stories over here in my messy corner that I have still have yet to get <laughs> situated? See that right there? What does that look like to you? Can you tell it's a letter T? Here's the story on that. When I worked at uh, Blockbuster Music, it was uh, owned at the time by Viacom. Viacom also owns MTV. And when we opened up a new store in Crestwood, Missouri, there was a big, it was like a metal and like chicken wire type of big, huge M that put we put out in the parking lot to attract people. And then also, it had this light on it, the T and the V, fed with fiber optic, optics. So after the grand opening, they were just going to trash it. So I obviously didn't have room for the big OM. I mean, thing was huge, as you can tell by how big that T is. Uh, but I did unbolt the T and the V from that big letter M and kept those. The V is around, probably in storage somewhere, but that is the T. From, my, from the big MTV sign. Grand opening blockbuster music in Crestwood, Missouri. Another little thing over here. I like just creating weird stuff. And so this is up on the ceiling. I use some old flooring. And then I put these chairs up there and covered them with uh, band stickers from the years. I call this piece musical chairs. <laughs> so... And it's just hanging suspended from the ceiling down here. So just one of my little goofy art things I like to do. So there's a couple stories for you. On another note, we got this uh, hat called Dirtbag Crew. Sold for $8. He's moved. <laughs> All right. This cassette line. 20 cassettes. Boom. Sold for $27. All right, we got a lot of 20 hats. And if you notice, something's a little different on this one as compared to my normal numbering system. That is the year. 
because I didn't expect. I did a test run of items that it's more of an organization project than it was a selling project. So these 20 hats sold for $75. So what I was doing, and I probably got about, I don't know, between hats, cassettes, and CDs, I probably got maybe had 20 lots put up and they were all priced at $99.99. And what I was doing was more of a storage thing since I got so much stuff. I'm like, what if I just store items in these smaller boxes, 20 of them, put them in the store at a hundred bucks. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, I don't care. It's storage. They're out of the way, but they're at least out to the public where they could be sold if need be and not just sitting in a storage locker, right? So I've probably, out of all of them that I can remember out of the 20, I probably sold three in the past. So that would be what, three months? Uh, so that would have been 831 August, right? August, September, October, yeah, it's August. So maybe in three months I've sold three, if I remember correctly. I remember one cassette and I remember two hats. Uh, this being the second hat lot. So, so it might be something I'm going to do in the future. And that means I'm putting everything in these boxes, not just, you know, it being super cherry picked first, there could be, they paid 75 for this lot. There could be a $75 hat in here. I don't know. I was just, I took a picture, you know, I took pictures of it all, but, uh, even at four, $4 a piece here, you can still make money as a reseller, uh, with the quality of hats that are in here. So that's what I was doing. That's why that is. And I put the 21 there because I didn't expect it to sell. So if it came back around again to August 31st of 2022, I would know which box is which. So every box had a distinction by adding that extra number. So that's what I was doing. So I may still continue to do that because it is a nice organizing project plus a nice high dollar sale here and there. And I mean, out of 20 items to sell, you know, make... I don't, not quite $300 because I think I took an offer on all three of them. One of them may have sold without an offer. I don't know. So just call it like $250. So almost $100 a month just by storing the items. That's not bad. I can't complain because I didn't expect it. So uh, it's a thought. It's food to process going forward. So Hula Girl Cigars out of Hawaii. Anytime you find a cigar related hat. This lasted under 48 hours, sold in under 48 hours, so uh, sold for $10. All right, we got this Perry Ellis Newsboy style hat, sold for $10. All right, Stan the Man, Stan Usual from St. Louis Cardinals, Phillips 66, a vinyl record, sold for a quick $5. All right, Love Old Miss. A girl's t-shirt uh, sold for seven bucks and I believe this was part of the golf thrip trip golf thrip <laughs> trip trip that I got in Mississippi at the Benz there I got a question for you are you watching the honey hole sessions if you are you saw this in volume four the Snoopy with the leopard print doghouse <laughs> Ah, uh, cool. At least I sold one item. Yay! I paid a dollar for it. Sold for eleven dollars. Add to the car fund. Yay! All right, we got this vinyl box set. Still sealed. And sold for ten dollars. All right, we got the Mercury nicely distressed boat hat. Sold for ten dollars. All right, Las Vegas, Nevada hat. Clearance, been in the store for a while. $5. All right, got this Sean Mendez Tour t-shirt. Sold for $10. All right, we got this infant toddler Pokemon plush-ish plush -ish hat. Sold for $10. There we go. My Chemical Romance Black Parade CD going to Canada sold for 
550. Srixon. Oh, never, never heard that word pronounced. It's a golf, golfing brand. I know that, but sold for nine dollars. Srixon.